if you're just new to power apps or you just didn't check all the fine print, you're going to soon realize that when you start dealing with large data sets inside of a list, for example, inside of SharePoint, you're going to start having delegation problems, meaning that you're not going to be able to see all of your data. It can be very frustrating. You'll want to move to Dataverse or do other things, but there's ways to make this work within a SharePoint list. Stay tuned. We're going to go through how to get all of this data represented here within your Power App. So one of the biggest challenges is this, this thing called delegation. And look for other videos I have and other people have. There's lots of information out about this topic. But essentially what happens is that with if you choose a non-delegable source, you can see right here, it'll talk about it, right? It, it determines how many rows are retrieved from the server-based connection where the delegation is not supported. So what delegation means is that, and we have it set to a thousand, just remember that number. What delegation means, and SharePoint list is a delegable source. What it means is that um, the data, when it pulls the data, it pulls it in small chunks and it, and it pushes it to the gallery. Whereas on this side, in a non-delegable source, um, then it's only gonna, it's gonna be limited by whatever this number is set here. So the minimum is 500 and the maximum is 2000. And as you go up, of course, it's gonna decrease some of your performance in most cases. So how do I get around this? Well, first of all, let's see what, what I'm actually talking about in real life. So here, remember we've got small business 2486. So that means there's 2486 records under small business. So if I search here, let's just search for government, for example. I have 439. If I search for small, I have 150. Notice here, I already searched for small at 2486. It found everything, although when it found it, although it's put it all up here, so let's I'll show you here. It goes back to 100 when it doesn't have anything in. So let's go ahead and search for small. It's gonna pull over the first couple hundred. As you can see here, we're at 200 right now. Now, if I keep going down the list, as I go down the list, notice that the number increases and my elevator bar goes up. And this is because it's going out to the, to the SharePoint site and it's actually negotiating with the SharePoint site who's doing the heavy lifting in the back end. So the SharePoint site is filtering, gathering all the data. It doesn't need to give Power Apps all of the data at once. It just needs to give it part of the data in small chunks. And this one happens to be doing it in chunks of 100. Now, that's how fast this paints the screen is going to be very dependent on your network performance in your, in your own environment. But... Here, notice we're at 2486. We can't go any further. So we've got all of the small business. But if you were, if you created a, if you had a list, a large list, and you created a search function in a gallery, you're only going to get 150 of those records here um, representing small business. Now, let's change this source, excuse me, let's change this row setting up to 2,000, and let's see what it does for our search. Remember, we have 150. We're gonna go ahead and go there. We're gonna cancel that out, and now we're gonna search one more time. And now notice we have 287 small business. Okay, what that means is that we changed the delegation, that cache, right? It pulled over that information. I'm gonna do that one more time, just so you get it in the settings. Let's just turn this to 10. All right. Hit play. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And now notice here that it just says 10. I'm going to hit small. There are none of them that appear in the first 10. So I think you can see pretty easily what we want to do is make sure that our data sources are delegable. That basically it's going to be SharePoint, Dataverse, SQL. I believe there's 
I think uh, Salesforce may do delegation too, but it won't use some of these filters that we have. Now, how do I know when I'm in trouble? Well, Power Apps is smart enough to give you a warning. You can see that delegation warning. The search part of this formula might not work correctly on large data sets. The search function right here, that's where the problem is. Notice here, we've changed that a little bit. So let's walk through this. Here, I'm just sorting by columns. But here, I'm searching on the list itself, the 17th, this list right here. Then I'm taking this search box, which happens to be called search 224. And I'm pulling in text, so dot text. And then title is the field right here, the column, excuse me. And I'm, I'm sorting it, basically, by the title ascending. Okay, so that's how that one works. And it's not, it gives us a yellow flag. We don't want that one, right? Now, we're going to go to this search. So this search, doing the same thing, but we're going to use a filter instead. We're not going to use search because search is non-delegable. We're going to call the data source again. We're going to use this term, though. This is the key. Starts with, okay? Okay. We're going to just say starts with. Now, there are other ways to do this, but we're just doing it this way. Here, we're going to look in this column right here, which happens to be title. We're going to look for the data right here within that search box. And that search box right there, this one I have highlighted, is 225. And we're looking for text. So that is the difference. So pause the video here and just take a look and see where you want your data sources and how you want to do it. There are different options, and we're not going to go into all of the different options today, but there are different options for you uh, to, to you know, uh, get data that's large data sets into your Power App. Here, for example, we can see it here. Now, if we go ahead and I think I have the filter, where do I have it? Right here. Let's do one last test. There we go. Filter by. So instead, we're going to filter by government this time. We're going to hit apply. Okay. And here, we're just going to go ahead and count so we know what it is. Count. And you can do this on your data sets as well. Okay. But let's go ahead and just change this one to government just as, a, just as an example. So government, here we have five. So the first three, the first five that it pulls... Our government, and if you look at the list, oh, we have the list all dorked up right now. So, government. Now, let's go ahead and search for government here. Okay, and you're already higher at 200 versus 5. And again, we keep pulling down this list, and we can discover exactly how many governments there are. In this case, um, it's well over 5. <laughs> so, um, so, that's pretty much how delegation works. And, um, and how non-delegation works. So the key takeaway, use, use the terms right here. This will work in a non-delegable search as well. Just get in the habit of using these filters starts with. You're going to find yourself in a lot less trouble. The other thing is you may want to stay away from Excel spreadsheets if possible and use um, lists because lists will give you that scalability uh, to be able to see things. Now, there are uh, limitations to lists as well that I'm not going to go into in this video that you may want to check out. And then just because I try to show you everything that's on the screen, this is a simple refresh button right here, and we're just refreshing that data set.